Doug Sermon's Marquise Pettigrew, Michael Greenstein, our officiating crew, were underway here in Indy. Creighton out of the Big East controls the tip. And also watch for Bishop. I think he's going to be key at both ends of the floor early on. Make sure he doesn't pick up fouls against Timmy in the, in the post. Ayayi has shot it well in this tournament. Jump shot goes down, and it's Nemhard with a three. There were three Creighton players around the glass. Defensively, they all have to rebound. Gonzaga, not that great of an offensive rebounding team, but keep them off. Jefferson, the follow Jefferson. off the mitt. Well, it's a lob that had been working very well for Creighton in previous games oh, to Bishop. Out. The slip to the rim, and it's Drew Timmy with the easy deuce. Then going down the other end, they're not getting back defensively. Here's Tips, the shot he can make. He's got the quick rhythm, another fast break, though. Easy, the slam for Nemhard. Timeout, Creighton. And then all of a sudden, the same thing, finishing it off with the drive to the basket again. He said the mentally toughest team will last the longest, and Creighton still stands him. Yeah, no doubt about it, Jamie. Obviously, every team's going through this stuff. Big finish, Christian Bishop. They give Ayayi some space there. Kispert, swing it. Now it's Timmy getting a touch. Kick, Ayayi. Got a three. Improvement from his jump shot last year. This year, he moves so well without the ball, so you have to respect him from all angles. Challenge right here. You got to go challenge. There you go. Bishop does, and he banks it in. Or throw my body into the defenders down there because they're not leapers in terms of blocking shots. Ayayi feeling it. Oh, boy. Another three. Supporting cast of the big three that we spoke about at the open because they do have two guys who can really play and light it up that are not the big three. Kick it out, extra feed, Zagorowski, book it, it's a triple. This tournament would bring some unique circumstances, and we've seen a blend of teams that we expected to be a part of it, and some surprises. Ayayi, missed it, rebound, and the follow goes for Kispert. So offensive glass opportunities. Fake the handoff, now Zagorowski gets a touch, lines it up. And he chants it on a three ball for Zagorowski. The Jefferson Suggs matchup, that's a good one. Here's another good matchup with Mahoney on Kispert. Nemhard, the former Florida standout. That jump shot is pure. Little zone action right now, flattened out a bit. Timmy on a handoff for Suggs. In the front, they're playing a triangle in two right now. And the tip in for Timmy. Two guys on the floor playing them man to man, and the other three guys play what's called a little bit of a zone. Hey, Ballon gets to the rim for the deuce. Nice work with the right hand, too. Jefferson sizing up Watson. Hey! Jefferson on the take and the make off the window. Goal percentage defense this season. Nemhart tried. And Kochrunner is now in for Creighton. Yeah, that may have hit him in like the leg just then for deflection. Good feel. Zagorowski for one negative play. He would carry it over for two or three plays after the fact. I work with guys like that once in a while. I know. I don't <laughs> want to name them, but Ayayi! <laughs> Feeling it from the outside. It's a thrill. To the outside. Mitchell's important for Creighton, too. Coming off the bench. Good work here. Nice angle. Mahoney goes to the left hand for two. Nemhar trying to get them into a set here with Timmy. Big seven-footer in there. And it's Timmy time. Yep. Into the trusted hands of Zagorowski. He's good with that pick and roll, too. Now they got the big guy on him. Off the jab. No look. Baseline delivery. Mahoney. Nylon. The key for Creighton this season. The tough part is you're going against Gonzaga. Yeah. They control the pace. And Nemhard is playing him now at 6'5. He's long. He's got length. That looks pretty good from here, though. Four guys back in a hurry because they know where the shot's going when Zegarowski goes. Nemhard. Ball fake. And the Gator of old is still crafty on the West Coast. He's run it through Suggs. Always under control. Shows it. Jumper is good. Creighton got lost in the sauce. It's that high screen. They like to run this. It'll jump out. Take your time and make sure you get an open shot. Find the open man. Caught Brenner with the flush. Beautifully done. St. Louis, Missouri native. Caught Brenner in the box score. Roll to the rim. Twisting inside is Drew Timmy for two. Brenner. Left hand. He missed it. Just got to make it. Everything's perfect there except the finishes. Going away from the basket. Suggs takes the opening. Accelerates for two on the foul. Time the Minnesota story comes up, Jamie says, yeah, that's mine. I got that one. Wants to bring the twins into play somehow. She's proud. <laughs> Open jam for Bishop. Ball movement leads to a bucket. Yeah, he has shot it well. Kick. 
with reaction. Nemhard post up. Remember, he's got size. And he's got the deuce yep. over Zegarowski. Two and a half remaining, first half. Dispatch out front again. Zegarowski, small against big, small wins. And I'll tell you why. The reason they, the small wins on that is that he takes quite a few of his shots off the dribble. He was setting him up from as soon as he got that ball back. Good decision there by Creighton to recognize that mismatch out front. 13 for Zegarowski. Isolation, too easy for Timmy. Conscious of not allowing the transition. That's why they're not getting anything on the offensive glass. Early touch. Timmy, they can't handle the handlebar. Rebound caught four, and Mahoney saves. Shot clock is down to three, does he know it? Mahoney, bumping bodies, fades, oh. and connects! Subs, kick, Ayayi, in and out, rebounded by Timmy. Reload here for Gonzaga. The hard cut, Nemhard with a finish. Ayayi is a long defender, he's 6'5", 180 pounds from Bordeaux, France. I know they're going to try to get this guy up, Kispert. You knew they were going to try to run his number at least one. Creighton will try to hang with this team as long as they can, but Kispert has to get off. That's only his second shot. Nice look. And the backdoor cut. Finish from Mahoney. They've had a number of chances in the first half and the second half already. About a total of six of layups that they didn't put in. Nemhard. Watch out. For the hammer jam. Timmy. Nemhard cut off by Bella. This is shooting practice. Ayayi. No. Crashing the boards. It's Kispert. The headband. Well, Creighton, I'm about 44% of their shots come from the three-point line. Today, only about a third of their shots. And that's why I think they have to continue to milk it inside as best they can. Jefferson, well-earned bucket over Kispert. Also, number one margin of victory. 23 and a half points per game. That's the differential. So smooth. Timmy. Had only one single digit win yeah, exactly. game against West Virginia. One. They're 28 0. Kick it out. Zagorowski, pull up. Book it. Well, he's pretty on the pull up, isn't he? Suggs so remains in there. There's the setup. Kispert. Picture perfect. What are you doing? Mike Breen? You name it. Just pick out an offensive stat. This is big right here. Ballock. Cans a triple. Dermott's team, three of four of 18 from the floor, three point shots. But they've had some good looks. Oh, an easy one here, Ian. Oof, too easy. Ayayi ripped down by Suggs. Just the strength of Suggs there taking over. Suggs shovels inside and he throws his teammate open. Zagorowski straight away. And off they go. Watch them spread the floor right now and run it. Largest lead for Gonzaga. They can add to it. Yep. On the attack. Jalen Suggs. Yeah, he got a timeout. Nemhart is battling down low with Mahoney. Ballock gives it up. Bishop banks it in. Good pass by Ballock just then, too. Ian in the middle of the floor. Eight points now for Christian Bishop. Bishop shows defensively on Nemhard. Cook lines it up, and he drains a triple. Two-man game with Mitchell and Bishop. Now they involve Mahoney. That's a three. Got it. Creighton scores, and what does Gonzaga do? They come right back and get a good shot. Very infrequently do they make a mistake after a bucket. Nice yep. look. What a fine. Nemhart to the cutter. Watson. Once again, the delay. They just always know where the cutters are coming from. And a steal by Watson. Gets it ahead. Ayayi lays it in. And you could feel it. You could feel the history. Nobody's run the picket fence, but Zegarowski gets to the bucket. Cook tracks it down. He's matched up with Mitchell. You never get the sense that anybody's hunting down a shot. Nimhard, a three. His 22nd year as the head coach at Gonzaga. You know, I think back. We did the NCAA tournament in Memphis 2001. Getting to the rim is Watson. Pulled off an upset that year, if I have my years correct. 2001 in Memphis. Shove. Mahoney nails it. I want to say that it's effortless, but it just feels like everything is in the flow of the offense. Timmy, uh, tough uh, angle. He gets it to go, and the foul. Appears to be okay. Up on his feet. No look. Nice work. He's going to get a dunk here, though. He is. Timmy with a two-handed jam. It is mustache madness with Drew Timmy. The celebrations. Oh, blocked by Kispert.
But if you want to look online, maybe you'll find it. Could be a small business opportunity. The bucket for Sharif Mitchell. Creighton has played well against top 25 teams. Nice move along the baseline by Bishop, but this is a different level. That's a tough thing to say when you look at the scoreboard. I re realize that, but with the turnovers they've had, they have made some mistakes. Bishop drop step, creates space. Watson works underneath. Defensively, it's Epperson. Jump shot goes. Kisper with that quick release. Dominic Harris getting ready to check in. So is Cook. Sharif Mitchell, the floater is good. He with 13, Bishop with 12. Balance scoring for the Bulldogs. Good look from Alex O'Connell. It is another step towards perfection for top-seeded Gonzaga. On to the Elite Eight. They dominate Creighton, 83-65. to 65.